wasn't the cannon fire. What? What's happening here? It's... it's my grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone is coming. You... you haven't given up yet? It's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. The Space Colony Ark is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the Space Colony Ark will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. scientific minds in the world, and my grandfather. What? I knew you were behind all this. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just huh? letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The, the colony, colony was completely was shut down, down probably, probably to keep the, the prototype, keep the prototype from, falling from falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The Ark was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the Ark was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way, I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to be. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project, Shadow. I designed its mind to be perfect, pure. I will leave everything to him, if you wish. Release and awaken it if you to the wish world. to fill the world with destruction. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, 
it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather pretty. That mad scientist. That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now. The space colony acquisition may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm. That's it. There is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the Master Emerald has the power to stop the Chaos Emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the Chaos Emerald. The reaction of the Chaos Emerald is moving toward the Candy Core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! So yeah, sup folks, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, the final episode, where good guys and bad guys come together to save the world. But yeah, um, this is, as I've been saying like earlier, this is what like really makes me love the Sonic Adventure game so much. That, um, it starts out with everyone kind of doing their own thing, maybe working together to some extent. And then eventually, you know, reach that point where, you know, they truly have to work together to save the world. Happened in Sonic Adventure 1, happened in Sonic Adventure 2. So yeah, it's just one one of those things to appreciate, like, even if the story isn't that good, it's like kind of convenient slash clever writing that I can actually, again, appreciate. But one thing that came to mind when watching that last cutscene, though, it says that Maria was a granddaughter to... Eggman's grandfather. So wouldn't that have made Maria like, if not his sister, wouldn't that make him his cousin? Just random thoughts, not really that important. Alright, made it. Oh no. Really? Are you fracking kidding me? No, and I have to- no. No. Oh my god. Where was I though? But yeah, it's just one thing to consider. So then, what would have happened if Maria was still alive? Would she be as evil as Eggman, or...? But then, it raises another question that, who's Eggman's father then? And how in, how did old coots like those guys get a lady long enough to have their kids? A lot of questions that will probably never be answered. Anyway, moving on though. Oh <laughs> man. A lot of crazy thoughts happen when you actually overthink things. Like, why not just enjoy the adventure? Not today, yet. It, it, it happened twice. It happened twice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Don't fall on me. Alright. Let me see here. How are you? Okay, 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 okay. He didn't get up there. <laughs> Alright, how am I? Okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. Go! Alright, let's go, let's go. Move it, move it, move it. And the door is taken down. Oh no, don't touch me. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Good thing I didn't die. And now it's Eggman's turn. Now it's my turn. But yeah, it's, it is kind of funny to think that, like, you know, everyone is fighting each other, and then eventually, like, we have to work together to save the world. So, you know, arch nemesis, rivals, everything in between. I'm trying to think, though, um... So, technically, Rouge isn't really a bad guy. Like, she's not good. Well, well, that's the thing, though. She was appointed by the government, which would technically make her a good guy. She loves to steal treasure and stuff, but that's neither here nor there. Or, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, like, she loves to steal treasures and stuff. She is a treasure hunter, but she's a treasure hunter appointed by the military. So just how bad is this girl? This loyal? Uh, where am I supposed to be going? Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no! Where am I looking? Where am I? Did it, did it, did it, did it, I guess I'll just have to chill and wait. Please don't screw me over. Please. Please. Okay, just follow these things. And uh, no. How do I get? No! 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 Lift me up! Lift me up! Lift me up! Lift, raise me up! Lift me. Ah, uh, I died. Really? There, there are no checkpoints. Checkpoints? What are those? Checkpoints are stupid. Checkpoints are for the weak. Checkpoints are for chumps. Cha cha. Really? You, can, you just shot through it. Uh, this game. I don't even care. I'm not even gonna take that. I'm just gonna. I need to go up. And I fell down. I'm being too hasty now. I'll need to take a break. We've been recording this shit for the past. Uh, I don't even know how many hours. Not really. Still though, die. All right. I won't keep making the same mistakes. I have learned. I have learned my error of my ways. And I'm wondering whether to do like a full-on special or what? Because all things assuming, it's gonna take a while to tear through all of this. So I think I'm gonna cut it into segments, more or less, just to make full certain that I don't uh the video doesn't crap out on me. Please don't. Why are these... Really? Really? Are you freaking... No! 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 <laughs> you little piece of... piece of work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this though. No need to worry. No need to panic. No need. No need. Alright, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I can feel it. In my little Eggman bones. Not today, you jerk. Haha, <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha! It's funny because I did so well on the first run, but it's always that second run that screws you over. Wait, is that. Was I supposed to be shooting at those doors? Uh, wait a second. I know what I needed to do. I know what I needed to do. I didn't go high enough. That was your first mistake. Alright, time freeze. Time stop. One of the worst little power-ups in the, the battle stages. No! You dropped from under me, how could you? I trusted you... No... Uh... Da... Da... Dada. Because, you know, I love art. How am I supposed to... Oh, because I was supposed to shoot the time stop. If I make this, I will be a mo... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to make that? And then I made it. And it was good. No, I refuse to die. There are no checkpoints in this stage. I'm going to this just right and go. No, go, stop, no, stop, no. Yeah, whatever, I'll take it. Pew, 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 pew. All right, and with this, we are done with the stage. So, <clears throat> who's next? Yep, I shall see you guys in the next episode as we continue through the final episode of Sonic Adventure 2. Battle. Peace.